Hello everyone and welcome to day 24 of Advent with the Angels and it's Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas, send you all so much love and I hope you're excited and if you are spending it with kids, you know, let them uplift your vibration today and tap in with the energy of your inner child and who you are and if you are on your own, remember the truth, you're never alone. You're surrounded by love and power and angels who are right by your side and I love that we've got the number 24, it's in a big window today. It's the biggest window of the calendar. So a big sign about big changes, big opportunities and big doors opening for you in 2022. And it's all happening now. And remember, you never know what goes on behind closed doors as well. So that's another message for you. If you think that your you know, twin flame is having a wonderful time, things are not always what they seem. So focus on love, not fear, and know the truth that nobody compares to you. So let's shuffle the cards, because on Christmas Eve, every day I'm shuffling. So we're going to use the Magic of Unicorns and the Love and Light Oracle card deck. And I've really loved using these decks too. So what's the message, please, angels, for Christmas Eve? What's the message, please, when we've got one more sleep till Christmas Day? What's the message? What's the message, please, angels? There it is. So let's see what's behind door 24. So excited. So, oh, we've got Santa. And I'm wearing my kind of Christmas jumper today as well. And Santa, wow, wow, he's got a beautiful red vintage style car that he's wrapped up and he's giving someone. So look at that. Look at that. Wow. So, you know, maybe one of you wants a new car. Maybe you want that for Christmas or you want that in the new year. But this is a big message about that bike. Remember when we were talking about that bike all those days ago, where it was, what day was that on? When we were talking about the bike and how the bike manifests what you want and creates what you want. I'm just looking for it, I can't find it. But whatever day that was, you know, wherever it's gone, the message is that your red bike has been transformed into this huge vintage car that's going to be your dream. So this is your dream coming to you. And the car is a vehicle, movement change, and the blocking throat chakra. So whenever there's a block in communication, remember that your journey is protected and you are safe and very loved and the magical things are ahead. So this is about you moving towards what you want. And so you may see red cars today. You may see Santa today. You may see, you know, this magical thing that you want, whatever you're dreaming of and wanting, you're going to see it around you today. You're going to see it around you in many, many magical ways because that's the way the universe gives you a preview of what's to come. And we've got follow the path that's right for you. Wow. So the big message coming through here is when you do what feels right, when you follow your heart, you'll be given everything you're asking for. And that's what Santa's showing there because Santa is really like the universe giving you your dream and that red car is your dream. So it's coming to you in divine timing because red is also a colour about divine timing. So follow the path that's right for you, what feels right for you, not what people say you should be doing or what you think you should be doing, what feels right, what feels good. And this is where you're going to be moving towards, towards the new year. It says God blesses those who patiently endure testing and testing and temptation. And they give me the word tasting, testing and temptation. So we go through things on this journey that test us, that trigger us, that challenge us, and that bring in temptation, which means we want it now. We get frustrated when we haven't got it because we're so tempted by it. But we learn to taste the truth. We learn to remember our power, to stand our ground. So we learn through patience and being flexible and being kind and loving that everything is worth the wait. And the angels are saying to you that God will bless you. Because you've patiently endured everything you've been through in 2021. So he's going to bless you. And he's going to bless you big time with something magical in your life. And we've got I am presence. I am presence. So you are present. You are presence. And you are a gift. And the presence energy has been here and now. It's about 
being aware of where you are, being the observer, being conscious of your journey, not being subconscious by being too busy in the mind. So I am presence and the presence of I am is that you are a creator. The words I am have power. I am here. I am ready. I am blessed. I am on the right path. I am moving towards my dreams. I am exactly where I am meant to be. I am loved for who I am. I am beautiful and strong. I am connected. So whatever you're using as an affirmation today, know that you are. Expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. And the song, I am who I am, just be you, you know, just be you and stand in your truth and know who you are. And even if things are a bit shaky, they're giving me like a real block in the throat <clears> that's <throat> creating a shaky voice. And things may sound strange to you today. You know, you may be enjoying what you're doing, but there's that little bit of pain in the back of your mind because you wish you were spending it or sharing it with your twin flame. But you are what you are. And this is what it is. And any pain will pass. And you'll come out the other side and Santa or the universe or Archangel Orion, whoever you're connecting with, is giving you that beautiful, shiny red vintage car. And that's something you've been dreaming of, something old. So again, vintage is old. So it's something that may have been in the past, the past coming back, something that's been taking a while to manifest and create your twin flame love. And we've got violet flame, wow. Violet flame, look at the power coming out of there too. So this is the twin flame journey. This is about healing and power. It says, I invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame. Transmute all that is not love. So on Christmas Eve, transmute everything that is not love. Let go of the fear, the doubt, the illusion and the negative emotion. And invoke the cosmic diamond flame. I call upon you, Archangel Jeremiah. I call upon you, Saint Germain. I call upon you, angels and guides and love, to be with me and to bring to me everything I desire in the here and now. I invoke the power of the cosmic diamond violet flame to attract in love and to bring my twin flame to me in wonderful, magical ways. Thank you for helping him to speak his truth to me, show his love to me and to give me his heart. Thank you for helping me to have faith in this vision and to have faith in where I am, where I'm going and where I want to be. Thank you for helping me to trust in my psychic awareness, my psychic power and my own self. Thank you for giving me the confidence to carry on, the faith to feel in love and the power to be strong enough to heal it. And thank you for showing me the way and that I am the way, I am the truth and the light and the life because I am guided by heaven. And Jesus is showing me that. So that's what you're doing when you're praying and asking for help. You're invoking the violet flame, connected with your twin flame journey, your psychic awareness and the power of Amethyst crystal that lives inside of your heart. So trust in this today. You're exactly where you need to be. And as we move into the Christmas energy, use affirmations. I am. I am valuable. I am strong. I am loved for who I am. I am respected. I am an amazing gift to this world. And I intend to share it. So be you, be authentic, have a wonderful time. Shine bright and focus on love, not fear, because your blessing, your gift, your dream is coming true. Have a great day, sending you so much love. Happy Christmas. I hope you receive everything you want and I'll see you soon.